hi guys welcome back to my channel this is sim and stitches again okay so on today's tutorial we are going to be making this beautiful dress worn by hilda bassi our record breaker we are going to be recreating this dress and the emphasis on this dress is the neckline so uh, that's what we are doing today so we are going to be using our already drafted block pattern I have this block pattern for the top that I already drafted, so I'm going to be using it. The front and the back block. Alright, so all I did on this part is just to trace it out using my marker so that it will be more clear for people that are watching. So I already drafted it and if you do not know how to draft this basic block pattern, you can let me know in the comment section. I would make a video for you specially. All right, so let me know if you want me to make a video on this. Okay, so I went on. Now, if you notice on the um the top, it has a pre princess dart, princess bustier dart. So that was what I was just marking out here. I already have it here. So everything is already on the pattern. So I just traced it out with a marker to give it a clearer view. The front block and the back block bodies so just watch as i do this Okay, so now let's get to work. So the first alteration we are making is on the back. We are going to be raising the back um, neckline by one inch on the shoulder line. You see that shoulder line? We are increasing it by one inch like I marked there. So you mark your one inch and then you come back again to the middle point of the shoulder line and you mark half inch, half inch. Did you see that? So you go on to mark the two lines such that one is up and the other one is down. Now you go on to connect the lines together. Did you see that? You connect it in a curved way. It's going to be a bit sloppy and curved. So the next thing you want to do now is to merge that line together. That place I'm pointing at, make it curvy and rounded. We don't want it to have a sharp angle. That's why just use your ruler to give it a bend or you can use your free hand to give it a bend you know a slight rounded angle and with that you are done with the back now you move to the other side which is the front part so for the front part in order to have a full body we need a full body that is the um the half sides of the bodies all together in one piece so we're going to be folding this paper on the already drafted half and we're going to be using our tracing wheel to trace out all the lines the lines from the one with the half that we have drafted we are going to be tracing it out on the paper so that it will reflect on the paper and we'll use our marker to trace it out to give us a you know a clear view of it just like you are replicating what you have on another piece of paper but then in this case we are having it on one single piece the essence is just for us to have an open paper you have it opened and we'll be able to walk on the neckline so you go ahead and get your get your tracing wheel and trace out the lines every bit of it every detail of it trace it out including the dart and everything that is written on the first half of the front bodies so you're going to be doing that and tracing it out as well
okay when you are done with the tracing we are going to be creating a high neckline the same way we did for the back is what we are doing for the front as well so at the middle we mark our half inch but at the sides of the neckline we are going to be marking one inch one inch just the way we did for the back is what we are doing for the front as well we are going to be marking one inch but then at the center front we are marking it half inch so that it will look a bit sloppy and then we'll just keep watching as i do this now after i have done that i'm going to be connecting the angles together these lines that i have marked we're going to be connecting them together to give us a shape that we desire the shape that we want so i connected mine using the free hand you can go ahead and use your ruler to connect yours together so the next thing we are going to be doing now is to draft out um the curved lines remember the curved line that we did so just you know just to give it a rounded edge we do not want the angles to be sharp and pointy because it won't give us the result that we want so you take your um armhole curve and then you draft out the second or you can even use your free hand at a point i used my free hand because i i think i got it more with the free hand i was satisfied more with the free hand than with the curved ruler but if you can do it well use your curved ruler whichever one you use the basic thing is just to get the rounded angle now after you have drafted out the rounded angle we go on to mark out the shape of the neck you remember the neckline that slanted v you know like inverted v that's what we want to do now so if you notice on the garment that elder Bassi is wearing it's towards the slant is towards the princess dart so that's what we are going to be doing now you can stop at one inch on your princess dart so i stopped at my chest area i don't know how deep you want yours to be so i marked three inches above my bust point that was where i stopped then you connect that point together from your shoulder line the high neckline that you have just drafted that's our new neckline the high neck so you connect them together to give you a v shape did you see that i altered the round neck that i already have from the foundation of the pattern I altered it to give me this V shape. So you mark it like that. From the high neck line, that high neck that you have, you mark it to that point that you have stopped before the princess dart line. So on the other side as well, from the high neck line, from the other side, you mark them together and you have your neck line. Easy peasy, very easy to draft. With that, you are good to go. I'm just going to mark out you know the side that we are marking away now for me to just have that you no know, perfect look i decided to make mine to be rounded instead of being sharp instead of being sharp at the edges i wanted it to be rounded so that that's what i did it, it's not necessary that you do yours this way if you want it to be sharp you can just leave it like that but i just wanted mine to have you no know, that curvy like a bent road color that was what i did for mine and that is how you have it i'm going to go ahead and shade out the part that you're going to be cutting away with these you are done with your pattern draft for the back and the, for the front piece in this design you can see that it's so easy very very easy this knowledge of that manipulation is one technique that helped in drafting out this neckline so if you do not have that knowledge it's good that you you just get it go for upgrade or better still i might do a video on that manipulation it is very easy to do all right so then i went on to mark and shade out the part that i'm cutting away that's my princess dart area and the normal dart area i had a bustier dart actually to give the bust you know, a little push and there you have it So the next thing i went on to do was to cut out my fabric with the pattern being placed on fold i went on to cut out my fabric i added allowances at the edges 
because the allowance was not on the pattern so i added my sewing allowance so that i cut it out in that manner look at the way i did mine so i cut it on fold cutting out the shapes and the angles then i opened it up for me to be able to get the back neckline and uh, the, the front neckline rather so i opened it up and to get the shape you know the shape is on one side that neck it's, it's on one side so i couldn't have achieved it directly while placing it on fold so i you see i opened it up and then you trace out the v neckline and you cut it out that was basically what i did here So the next thing I went on to cut for the back as well, I cut the back pattern and I also cut the facing, the facing for the back. It's very, very important. My back bodies does not have a dart because I already eliminated the dart on the pattern. So that is just what you have. I couldn't have eliminated the princess dart because it's part of the design. So there you have it. So I went on to mark it out, cut out my, um, hair stay i use the hair stay to give it a structure and make it firm because the fabric i have it a bit thin and then i also added paper stay to the neckline the paper stay on the neckline made it you know firm and gave it a structure i also went on to cut the remaining part of the dress i cut the down part the bottom part of the dress to give me the design that i wanted And right after that, after that, I proceeded with the sewing. I stitched the front part first. So I stitched the princess that first because it's going to give me the formation for me to be able to stitch the neckline. So just carefully stitch yours as well. The first side of the princess that and the second side. And when you are doing this, be careful not to drag your fabric so that it won't be, you know, it will align properly. So that was what I did here. Now, if you look at this pattern, you see uh, this video rather, you see the white stuff on the neckline. So I already ironed the, I ironed my paper stay on the neck region. After I had caught the facing for the neck, I ironed the paper stay on both the main fabric and the facing. So I ironed it out flat. You can see that the structure is already forming and the garment is coming to life yeah that's the beauty of uh, you know being a seamstress the more you proceed in your career cover coming to life all right so after the ironing process i went on to join the front um facing with the the front piece so i also joined you can see what i'm doing there i joined the back piece as well with the back facing and it gave me the construction that i wanted very easy look at it at the angle that v angle so you see what the way i turned it so I ensure that i got the sharp pointed neckline that is what makes it 
the Ildabasi style. Okay, so it's just a trick for cutting the V-neck. I have a video on that. You can watch my previous video on the V-neck uh, v neckline design. So I ironed it flat at the seam line to give me, uh, to avoid being bulgy. So I wanted it to be flat and, you know, to lay well. So I went on to do it for all the angles and I held it down with an hemming stay so that hemming gum so that it won't you know flip off while wearing the dress and that was how i got the front neckline well the rest of the video consists of all i did to make the garment so continue watching thank you Okay, so after that, I went on to attach my zip. So I used the invisible zipper to make it look smart. So I used, I actually used the invisible zipper foot to give me, you know, the best result. So if you have that foot as well, just change it and use that. So I went on to attach the zipper. As you can see, it's very easy with the foot. I don't know if you have tried it. If you have tried it, you can leave a comment behind in the comment section. Let me know your review of the invisible zipper foot in terms of comparison with you not using it at all. So I proceeded with the front part of the um, garment. So I added the bottom part with the top part. If it, As you can see in the video, I have it attached together because I wanted the waistline to have a, like an asymmetric design. So I had to mark it directly on the top and then I ironed it with half inch to enable me to stitch it up on like I did a stitch on method. So I stitched it on and I attached it with, a, you see what I'm saying? I attached it with a pen, took it to my sewing machine and did the stitch. So to give me the result that I wanted, I wanted it to have a slant asymmetric um waistline because i was going to be um put a bead yes i wanted to, i was still contemplating the design at this point but then i concluded in adding a bead yes so there you have the design see the neckline look at it standing firm and it's just so beautiful we did it we did it it didn't really come out on the mannequin it's not the exact size of a mannequin but i, I know you know look at it now it gave you the result that you want all right thank you very much for watching this tutorial i want you to practice and tag me on instagram when you post your sim and stitches fashion house thank you very much for watching i'll see you in the next video kindly like share and subscribe to my channel